Well, Jason, first up, I want to ask you about your style of play, this never say die, fierce, competitive attitude that you seem to play with on the pitch. Where do you think that comes from? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just probably brought up like the way I was brought up, just to try and work hard and try and help help my teammates. Um, that's just always the way I've been, probably a bit mad, like, do you know what I mean? But I just probably enjoy working hard and I think I'm a player where for me to impact games, I need to, to show that level of aggression and and the yeah, enthusiasm, I think, because that's a large part of my game. So, Is it the same way that you live your life off the pitch as well? No, no. I'm quite calm off the pitch, to be fair. Like, so I know on the pitch I can get a bit heated and stuff, but um, away from that, I'm not a confrontational person at all. and I'm just quite chilled out and relaxed, to be fair. So, so is there a, a switch? When you step over the white line, yeah, it's just that competitive edge. I think you know, just kind of switch into, yeah, just a madman. I think it was just um, I want to do well, like for for myself, my team, and my family and stuff. So yeah, how much does winning and losing mean to you, and how much does it affect you? It, yeah, it does affect me a lot. To be fair, I probably get probably overthink it a lot, you know, because the next day or two can be can be tough for me where I'm a bit overthinking stuff in my head especially if we lose but to be honest I'm one of them where I don't really care how, how well I play as long as the team wins because I know that's the main thing and I want to try and achieve something in my career in the team so you've um you formed a great partnership with Akai Yukushla since he joined the club permanently earlier on this season why do you think it works so well between the two of you uh, I'm not sure really I think um I think the gaffer and the style of play has helped a lot, obviously, and I think, you know, um, a lot of the boys, you know, are pushing me and Akai for places as well, and um, I think Akai, to be fair, um, I really enjoy playing with him. I think he's a, he's a top player, um, he's got some amazing attributes, I think he could be a bit of the, the calm head in there when, when I'm sort of sprinting around and chasing people down, I think um, it just rubs off well, I think he, he stays in there, controlling the middle, and then, I'm sort of free to kind of run right, I suppose, and just get about the pitch. So, so you'd say that his style of football and the and, and the player that he is allows you to flourish in that all action midfield role that you like to to have. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think yeah, like I said, I, I really enjoy playing with him. I think um, it's a good little balance. Um, we all stay at the minute, but um, like I said, you know, there's some some top players there. You know, myself, I've been in and out with the team, you know, some, some parts of the season and I know there's lads who play and who aren't playing regularly are, are top players and, you know, um, it's just who the manager picks picks on the day to, to go and try and perform. So, In your words, Jason, what are the biggest differences between your game now and your game when you first signed for us? Confidence, probably, I'd say, yeah. Uh, I'll just probably put it down to confidence maybe and that's probably the the only thing I would say really because I always felt you know I was good enough and I had it in me and I, listen it helps when when the teams win I think everyone plays well so um, yeah but probably confidence for myself I would say On a on a personal level what is it in particular that has, has brought on more confidence in you? Um, obviously playing regularly helps a lot, um, you know, and obviously when you play and the team wins, I suppose you can see yourself uh, impacting the game and, you know, you're involved with the team, that helps your confidence, but also, your, you know, your teammates and the manager and the style of play and, um, yeah, winning games, I think, creates confidence. So, One man who is flourishing this season is your uh, fellow countryman, Dara O'Shea. He's been given the armband as well. Uh, in the early parts of the season, and he's taken it on. He's he's worn it with pride. How pleased for him are you that he's had so much success this season? And he's got the responsibility of being the skipper. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Look. Um, I mean, before that, I think obviously Skip was playing a lot. Jake, you know, um, he's always our captain, the club captain still. And um, first and foremost, like he he's the the one that kind of looks after everyone and um, is the real leader in the group. And um. Then obviously Barts was sort of vice for a while and then obviously Doss is um taking that on now and he's captain us most weeks and 
every week for the last however long and he's he's done absolutely brilliant to be fair and you can see um he's uh he's grown into it more and more and I can see him getting more confident and becoming more of a natural leader as well. So um yeah, I'm delighted for him and obviously hopefully we, we can keep winning games and um yeah, he he's done great so far. So Is it nice having a fellow fella from the Emerald Isles being your captain? Yeah, it is yeah, no, it is good. Um try to stay close to him so um, no, it's good. Uh, he, he deserves it. He works extremely hard, and I think the boys can can see that. And I think he automatically sort of has um, respect from from the teammates because they can see, you know, every day he works really hard. So, when you think about how much you've improved from the day that you signed to being sat here now, Jason, how much do you think that you can still improve, and how much more of a better player do you think you can can turn into? Yeah, I still think I'm. I still feel like I've got like a lot more in me to be honest um, I, I do I generally feel that I feel like I've been happy as of late with, with the performances um, with certain performances but I still feel like I've got a lot more in me and you know I think I'm at the right place at the minute the way things are going I think I've got the, the right coach and staff here and the manager to, to allow me to improve because every day I, I feel like I'm learning here and moment especially under this manager and the coach and stuff so um, I think we'll only get better yeah. It's been an incredible turnaround this season from relegation candidates to, to playoff hopefuls what's the most impressive thing about this West Bromwich Albion team at the moment? Um, definitely probably the togetherness I would say you know um, we've, we've developed a real strong bond within that dressing room now and I think you can see that on the pitch you know all the lads um, the boys who are coming on are run their socks off you know they're batting for every ball and I think we'll need everyone you know we've seen it this season where lads have come off the bench and made massive impact so um, we're going to need everyone and I think that just shows you know the sort of character and the mentality in the dressing room where we have lads on the bench and you know they're not sulking they're coming on and they're, they're really making an impact on the game so Local rivals Birmingham City on Friday it's a, a fiery derby your style, does that suit derbies, the full-blooded encounters? Do you think that brings out the best in you? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I can only hope so. Um, obviously, I know it means a lot to the, to the fans and it'll mean a lot to us in there to, to get a local victory. Um, so, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. And obviously, we need to keep doing what we're doing and keep playing the way we're playing. There's, there's no need to change for, for a derby, just um, maybe that little extra 5% inside us. Just want to ask Jason, playing on a Friday night, does that give you a, a bigger incentive to win the game because you know that three points then puts pressure on the other teams that are chasing a spot in the playoffs to to match our result to keep pace? Yeah, to be fair, honestly, as, as players, we don't even think of that. Um, we just think of it as a game, you know, we're never really looking at who who and who has, you know what I mean? So we're always just um, focused on the next game. And, yeah, obviously it's nice to... Hopefully get a win on Friday and then um, see how the results plan out um, and enjoy your weekend. So that's what we're hoping to do.